okay here comes our sixth game unlike the other games we saw so far this is being played between two world-class grandmasters white was Rayti versus Tartakover from 1910 and it's amazing that even world-class player like Tartakover can fall into an opening trap if he doesn't follow the opening principles white starts with e4 black responds with c6 okay so we have switched from the king pawn opening where black plays now the karo khan defense white continues with d4 just as i said if you have a chance put both your center pawns in the middle that's what white is doing the right thing black responded with d5 the correct move for black to at least have some presence in the center knight to c3 white had to do something because the pawn was under attack white has three principal choices either to push the pawn which is called the advanced variation to capture which is fine or to protect the pawn either with knight c3 or knight d2 all well playable moves d takes e4 Black makes a trade in the center. White captured the pawn back with knight takes e4. Black developed the knight with knight to f6. In this position, black has three main moves that are being played regularly. One is to get the bishop out to attack the knight. Another one is to get the knight out to d7. By the way, here there is another famous opening trap that I'd like to share with you. Here white can play a tricky move, not a good one, but a tricky one. By moving the queen to e2, right in front of this bishop, it's not a good thing. However, if black is careless and just resumes developing, the game will end real quick. I bet you figured it out by now. White checkmates right away with knight d6. Of course black can avoid this very simply by first playing e6 opening up the diagonal of the bishop and delaying the development of the knight for the next move. Therefore we need to would not be a good move but it's a tricky one. This game continued with knight to f6. Queen to d3 Queen to d3, just like in the previous example that I just mentioned, is a type of tricky move. I don't particularly like to get the queen out so early in the game. Also, I really like the capture on f6. That makes black ruin his pawn structure by capturing back either with the e pawn or the g pawn. Either way, black will have doubled pawns. Let's see what happened after queen d3. Black plays e5. Now black is trying to be tricky, but this is actually a mistake. D takes e5. Well, did black just give up a pawn? Queen to a5 check. Well, that's what black had in mind. With this check, it's a fork, black gains the pawn back on e5. White plays bishop to d2. White blocks the check and attacks the queen at the same time. Queen takes e5. Well, this is what black was hoping for. Things look pretty cool. There is a pin. The knight cannot move away. Also, by the way, black attacks the pawn on b2. Looks like black is doing good. But he forgot about something. White castles on the queen side. Wow, what is this? Did black... Just one a piece. Knight takes e4. Black took the knight. Now let's just stop for a moment. What happens if the queen would take? If the queen would take, white would simply pin the black queen and win the queen. However, what's wrong with taking with the knight? Now this is a really, really amazing moment. And I'll give you a hint. White can checkmate by force in just three moves from here. Take a moment, see if you can figure it out. 
White gave up the queen by playing queen to d8 check. Wow, after giving up a knight, we give up a queen too. But we force the king to d8. King takes d8. No other choice. White plays bishop to g5, double check. White had here several options to give discovered checks, winning the queen, or give double check from a5, but the only correct one is bishop to g5. As I said before, when you get a double check, neither of the pieces can be captured, even if both would be attacked. Another thing about double checks, they cannot be blocked. Unlike regular checks, you can possibly block. Double check, you can never block. The king must move out. Now, in this case, there are two choices. Black resigned in this position, by the way, because if the king tries to escape through c7, a beautiful, beautiful checkmate comes with the bishop on d8. And if the king walks the other way, then just like in our previous game with Morphy, the same type of checkmate, rook d8 ends the game. What went wrong in this game for Black? Well, Black again did not hurry up to develop and put his king in safety. It stayed in the middle and got checkmated in just a few moves. Black tried to be too fancy by sacrificing a pawn early on and get it back. And even after that, he still could have been in the game, but fell into a cute trap. So watch out for all kind of traps coming up.